No, I don't think in, in terms of that as far as Treon. He's, he's obviously, his understanding is not, you know, where it needs to be. And that's not because he doesn't work hard at it or he's not getting reps. It's just simply age um, and, and number, of, number of repetitions and practices he's had. So when he goes in, he's not, you know, we're going to try to ask him to do things that we think he's, um, you know, mentally prepared for. But, but the reason that decision was made is because Jeff, we feel like Jeff gives us the best opportunity to win, win football games. Are you trying to integrate Trey on a role that Warren has, has just been paid to, to see what maybe he can do? And well, I mean, at any time you're one play away, and Jeff ended up running the football 11 times in, that, in the game against Alabama. So we're trying to run him a little bit more and put him in that situation. So you're always, you're always one play away. But our, I guess our integration, to answer your question, is is through the practice reps, and he's gotten a bunch of practice reps over the, the uh, you know, since he's been here, obviously more since we moved in the direction with him getting all the two reps, and we try to balance, you know, all our practice reps in a, in a, in a day is really about eight, in a team period we go about 14 plays, and we split it eight to six, and we've done that for 20 years since I've been around the cut, you know, the big thing about college football is you have to keep bringing your twos along, it's not, the NFL, you can't go pull somebody from another team or this or you know experience. You've got to bring your twos along. So that's how we're trying to integrate it. To, to answer your question, with a bunch of practice reps. Can you explain the eight to six meaning? Well, the ones well, I'll, they'll get eight plays in a team period on on average, and the the twos will get six plays in a team period. And that's offensive line, tight end, running backs, because. You know, right now, you know, we've got Mark Herndon down, and and uh, your numbers are smaller at running back. We got to get those guys reps, you know, to get ready to go because you never know when somebody's going to get hurt. And you got to bring somebody along. Kurt, obviously, there's been a lot of criticism and talk out there about Jeff and the people calling for his job. But it seems like you and Will don't feel like things are as bad as maybe outsiders feel. I, I was just curious: Have you ever uh, been in a situation where you pulled your starter? And if so, what? What brought you to that point? And if you haven't, what do you think would? Uh, you know, so everywhere I've been, I wasn't the head coach. So the head coach makes those final decisions and any of that. I've been in situations, you know, at Duke, we, we uh, put Sean Renfrey in for Thad Lewis for a series. And then Thad ended up starting the rest of the year. When, we were, when Sean ended up starting, we put Anthony Boone in for a series. And Sean ended up playing, and both of them are in the NFL. So nobody's immune to that, you know, but the head coach makes all of those decisions. And, um, you know, right now, I, I don't, you know, I've only been here a few months. I haven't been here a few years. Um, but I think Jeff is a talented football player. We went back and watched all our third downs. He's had 37 third downs and drop back pass, and we, we felt like eight of them he, we needed to be critical of him. On the other 29, uh, they were either good decisions or um, we still good decisions or we didn't make the play. I'm not saying we made the play on all 29 of those, but, but Jeff was solid in his decision making, solid in the, in the throw and all those things. So it's, it's really a team thing because I think we've got a guy that understands the game, that is a tough-minded guy, that uh, you know is, is, has the ability to make plays for. How does that conversation work, though, if you were to get to the point where you're discussing, you know, what to do at quarterback between you and Will? Well, it's, you know, Will, Will is the one that will have that conversation. You yeah. know, it's plain and simple his decision. But again, you know, we have 100% confidence in Jeff right now, and he's, he's the guy we feel like 